Grand Rising IG. <laughs> Grand Rising, Grand Rising IG, get up and come here today. Mm -hmm. Joyful is the morning as we rise. Joyful is the morning as we rise. Yes. Joyful is the morning as we rise. Grand rising, grand rising, grand rising, grand rising, grand rising, grand rising. Because I and I ain't mourning. I and I ain't now mourn. I and I now mourn. I and I now mourn. Grand rising, you know. Yes, I. Through the powers. I would advise the item as the item come on in the morning here to record them live here. Cause the glitching starting up. My phone has been, been messed up since burial. <laughs> yeah, man, since burial, it's coming like, may I tell you? So the eye, them have to start a little deep, you know, when they live, you turn on now, you see me? Yeah. Them live here is not, no. Them live here is to make the eye, them know, say, all is well. The new world order plans hold up. Jamaica hold up the new world order plans. And we just have some reports to make to the item as to where we're there right now. You see me? Mm -hmm. So those who have ears to hear... Let them hear. You know them do all kind of shadow banning upon them live and things so. The notifications them now really go out of them if you go out, you see me? <laughs> yeah man, UK. I coming up, I coming up, UK. You know, we go jazz cafe, rockers, reggae land, rockers, reggae jam, rockers. Yeah, man, we still do the little that we can, you know. So, yeah, we know why someone's tuning in, you know, because the right ones, them, we are listening right now, are tuning in, you know. A time for I and I tune in now, tune in. So this message this morning that is vibrating out of my energy is seeing. Is Yeah, I didn't notice uh, the energy kind of stall, you know, the, the place kind of feel uncertain, like people don't know what to do next. The yeah, item kind of see that I go on right now. It actually I go on right now. Man as I love to Kenya, I want to say to all Kenyans that plan to go out on the 25th, I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's this weekend coming up though. Be guided by the ancestors. Be guided by the ancestors. 
be guided by the truth that we want to reveal that we are a free people, that we deserve freedom, that we deserve to be treated the right way that we are supposed to be treated as people and not as subjects and objects for slave masters and their cronies. And so I want to say again to Kenya to keep the protest pure, non infiltrated by the dark forces, but only by the will of the ancestors for the ultimate outcome of peace and unity amongst I and I melanated people once and for all. Matters not who will rule the world in this future, but us governing ourselves as a people, looking to in, into our differences and doing what we can to fix our own issues, the issues that face us. My brother, they choose to come turn on film machine, you know, so if they either my hear a sound in the background of the dark forces that come with the half time and the thing, but we now go listen to that the noise right now. So right now, we could sank over home to Jamaica. See? And I want to say it here so again before me begin to say what's coming out of me. Say I am seeing the newly appointed honorary queen mother of the Trelawney Flagstaff Maroon. Say it with humbleness and I say it with the greatest, greatest of pleasure to stand in that moment are the greatest thing for me right now. Seeing so as the Queen Mother of the Trelawney town, Nainke Pong, the true, the only real Nainke Pong state of Maroons. Seeing, I want to say this this morning. This message is mainly to the wider Maroon community. See, not 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 just ne not necessarily the leaders of the maroon community, but the people of all the maroon communities. Not only here in Jamaica, but right across the globe, where anywhere sovereign and indigenous people find themselves. See, here in Jamaica, we have a way to free ourselves from the glitches of slavery and slave master behavior. We have a way to stop it. Here in Jamaica, we have a way to stop it. And there are ones here who can stop it. See? with my life but we can speak it over and over again so it's not a problem what you don't hear here so you will hear it somewhere else see we just want to say to the item say the maroon community of jamaica there's a lot of stuff going around right now around queen african name in the maroon communities and i just want to say to the maroon communities that all we are trying to establish is peace in the maroon communities the truth in the maroon communities so that jamaica can be free and the world can be free and there are elements in the maroon community that does not want this to happen because they are benefiting from the legacy of slavery and so this morning i'm doing this video 
to say to the communities that the mission is about peace once and for all on the island. Once and for all amongst black people, once and for all around the world in general. Us as black people, Nubian melanated people coming together and taking care of our own affairs the right and proper way seeing as a government as a movement as a people standing united against oppression against the new world order establishment and all the elements that are set up out of jamaica to keep jamaica as we are as slaves well i never born as no slave I am one of the Jamaicans that were free people when slavery came along on this island. Not all of us on the island were slaves. We are continuing to say that and we are going to say it even louder with action now. See? I want the item to know that A lot of threats have come up against my life. This is no joke and I'm saying it here not out of fear. But just to make sure so I say it publicly. Because I will not, I will not turn away from what the Mosai appoint me to do. And it's not only me alone, it's a lot of us that are appointed to stand up for the Creator right now in this time, you know? And so, I am letting the item know that behind the scenes, we are making gains. We'll have an official public awareness announcement as to where we are right now in terms of having the, the maroon community realize that we're fixing things in the maroon community and we're not joking about it the truth about jamaica lies in flagstaff trelawney town the truth about jamaica lies in flagstaff trelawney town Chilani Town, Flagstaff, Maroons are the head of all Maroons anywhere in the world and here in Jamaica. That is the Maroon that was never conquered by no colonizers. See? And there's a lot of narratives that were shaped around the Maroon story as to who the maroons were and who the maroons fought with and so what we are doing now is we are standing up and rebutting it we are rebutting the argument that a compound is the head of all maroons a compound is not the head of all maroons. A compound is not the head of all maroons. Trelawney Town Flagstaff is. And no one can dispute it. They all know the truth and they want to keep that. To keep that this is not just about Returning of documents is about recentering the truth of the island, the truth about Jamaica and who we are and the role that we play in the world. The very reason why Camilla Harris is the vice president with a Jamaican connection that she does not even like. They're just using the Jamaican connection because of what the Jamaican connection means to everyone everywhere and so we are not going to speak in layman's term anymore we're going to speak this truth openly and clearly 
And with all the shadow banning where the government have got put over, we think uh, since burial we notice say, uh, a summer we phone alone, cloud come over. See? But we still have, if I even six people are going to hear that message here, we are going to make sure that so we leave it in a record. Jamaica people and those who are hearing, and I know the people on here who are listening and why they are listening. I'm saying to you and all the people that is continuing to stand with the wrong side of history while Jamaican people suffer who the history truly belong to. And while me boil up now, let me just address Miss Kitty while me boil up. Miss Kitty, a years me I sit down with you in a sis. I may have said to you, say, Jamaica no man need a kind of example in women that will more likely remind them of who they're supposed to be and not necessarily what society want make them to be. But kind of notice you I go up on a little rant against Jamaica no man from the other day from a perspective of the fact that you married and have a family and that's beautiful because every Jamaican, every black family should live that way and don't have to make an excuse about it or explain it it should be normal for melanated couples to fall in love and have children and get married if they want to however the same slave plantation where you are bought to keep going miss kitty is the reason why these black women cannot be the kind of women that they are supposed to be because they are not getting the opportunity that probably you would have afforded yourself because of your self-drive and your self-awareness and your self-love and your ability to show people that no one can stop you from becoming who you are. And if you stop talking down to Jamaican woman now and start lift up Jamaican woman and stop use Funo experiences where Uno have because Uno figure out a way how to get on the throne where Uno depend. Remember, Miss Kitty, I sat and watched you encourage Jamaican women to go take the vaccine. You told them that they were also worthless. Me notice, say, as some little boy like quit Perry, them, you sit down in a when you do your life, them. What are you truly influencing us as Jamaicans to do, Miss Kitty? I really have to really ask you. And I used to sit down with you and I said to you, say, yo, you know, I really want to see you do a little bit more than what you do for Jamaican people when you use the dialect and them something. I kind of notice that you just have flirt with the dialect just to suit the people them where you're trying to reach to and trying to like you and impress you. You influencers are the worst thing we ever happened to Jamaica since social media invent. Because all you guys do is come on and bat for the system and talk down to the very people who love you and make you popular. So, Miss Kitty, me not agree with your sentiments where you share on TikTok towards black women in this country. Me think you can take a better approach to how you defend your marriage and your love that you're experiencing with your beautiful child that you just gave birth to. Ease up on Jamaican woman because Jamaican woman did not make their situation the way it was slave masters and people like yourselves who support slave masters are the way jamaican are the way they are because you are the big influencers what you're influencing jamaican people to do what exactly are you influencers influencing jamaican people to do look what you all have done to jamaican people look what you all endorse look what you all support seen and now you're now talking down to jamaican people and especially jamaican women who you all have subliminally helped to become whores and prostitutes and have no self-worth and don't think them value nothing seen me sit down and watch you all on the whole on a bad for the system none on no i'm bad for jamaican people and so let me come back over to the maroon them and tell all of the artists them Jesse Royal Father, you can't threaten me. Let me tell you that what you're doing in the Maroon community is wrong. Jesse Royal Father. What you doing in the Maroon community is wrong. So all the negativities that you all are pushing around my name in the Maroon communities and trying to tell people that they shouldn't let me in the Maroon. Why I shouldn't be letting the Maroon communities? 
because you guys want to continue to hide the corruption in the maroon communities that you're using to keep Jamaica down and the world and Africa by extension. We're saying that a compound must pull up and Richard Curry must come to Jamaican people and tell them the truth that a compound represents for the British and not Jamaica and black people. And Kabuma at Keru, them must come forward and tell Jamaican people that they are Pan-Africanists who are leaning towards the ills of society and don't want to admit it because they cannot truly speak on behalf of the real ancestors, those who stood up in Flagstaff and told the, the, the oppressors, no. So we are saying to all the free people and all the friendly Maroons who wanted to fight and who fight and who fought with the real Maroons of Jamaica, the real Nine Kepong State, I'm still calling on you, L.A. Lewis, to stop telling lies and to bring back the documents that, that, that Rastology Rast gave you. Bring back the things that Rastology gave you to Flagstaff. They are all using Flagstaff documents. Let me talk it the way it is. I'm not hiding anything. These people are using documents that belongs to Flagstaff, Trelawney Town, Maroons against Jamaica and the world and the entire maroon community and we are saying that it must stop and they're threatening my life them calling me dried girl them disrespectful in all the sense of the word and I'm not going to sit in the background and not say it out loud seeing so I am calling out Jesse Royal father right now seeing to stop saying ills about my name in the maroon communities and to bring back the truth to Trelawney town maroon the truth about jamaica the cotton tree in pakiti is the truth about jamaica the the the, 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 the cotton tree near petty river that is where jamaica is governed from the 1738 treaty jamaican people and they're keeping it as a secret from you. And they don't want to let you know that that is the reason why you're not free. Because the documents that govern your rights and, 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 and to have you be the people that you're supposed to be, they don't want to put it into the hands of the rightful owners, the Trelawney Town, Kojo Town, Maroons. And they all know that that's where the documents belong so that Jamaica can be free from what is coming and because of that that is why the new world order can't establish either because they need the 1738 treaty go ahead and the and the owners of it are in Trelawney town the unconquerable the unconquerable the unconquerable the unconquerable maroons who stood against oppression that is the treaty that they cannot go around so we are saying, I am sitting here in front of the world naked because I did not form any alliance with anyone else but the people. Seeing? And so this is why I'm not hiding this truth anymore. I'm talking it as plain as day. Seeing? The Maroon community, we need to unite in the Maroon community. Seeing? Buju Bantan, you're on the wrong side and you're leading black people down the wrong path. Seeing? The right side to be on is Flagstaff, Trelawney Town side. That is the side that we need to start talking about. The 1st of March is where the true celebration of our ancestors should happen because that is where the 1738 treaty was when the 1738 treaty was ratified basra you cannot deny it basra none of you that talking about maroon truth cannot deny it you all know the truth that you are living a lie this of, of the of the of the 1795 sellout treaty that a compound went against kojo and nani and signed and that is why jamaica is the way it is and until us as jamaicans stand up in unity and decide that we're not going to take this anymore as a people we want back with people we want back with country we want back the way we country was we want back with country the way it was we want back with country the way it was 
we was a peaceful people. We were here before slavery. Jamaicans were here. Black people, Yubi and millinated people were here before slavery. All of our problems started when slavery came along. And this is what they're hiding from us. And they've been telling us a lie. And if, and, and if we vote in Andrew Olness, and if we vote in Mark Walden, and they do not come and stand and tell you the truth, they are working for the world order. And they want to set up a new republic that will turn free people into slaves. Free people who were never slaves, who were never slaves. And all of these people that they have on social media as influencers, they are there to hide the truth from you, to demonize me. Every time I come to speak, they try to demonize me because they don't want the truth to reveal Jamaica is the head of the world. Our country, this island, Jamaica, is the head of the world. They are all waiting on us to see what we are doing so that they can know what to do next. So I'm asking the item to pray for the Flagstaff Trelawney Town community. It's a beautiful community. And we ask that the community continue to protect the legacy of who we are as a people because that is where the truth really lies. And I'm asking for a compound maroons. Yeah, man. Stop the negativity against us and let us unite and speak our truth the way it is supposed to speak not because we are benefiting from the negatives of this of the of the sellout treaties and the sellout arrangements but because our people blood is shedding and no one will come to our rescue if we don't do the unity so i am telling the community of all the maroons here in the in jamaica and in the diaspora that i am not an enemy of the maroon communities but i am crying for peace once and for all among us as maroons as jamaican people and as the african people and the world and jamaica will and jamaica is the place to do it because it all started here it all started here we 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 are the true democracy we are the out of one many it was one colony of many different people people came from all over the world and was brought to this island and there was a conscious collective that was living here and then when slavery came along the divided happened and most of the ones they stayed with the slavery and those of us in the resistance decided that we will resist through generations to generations until the truth be told that Jamaica is not a slave island. Jamaica is the place where the Almighty Creator dwells here on this island. And the people are suffering because the forces of darkness have set up an umbrella over the country to keep darkness upon us. And so this is why they have created so much dark artists in our music, so much dark politician, so much dark gunman in our communities. No one with no light, not so much darkness in our churches. Everything is just darkness. So we now have to be the ones to say no more. Let the truth reveal for what it is. All of those who find them side, themselves on the side of the enemy, come over to the side of the people once and for all. And this is the only reason why we do the roll call that we do. To say, Jamaica is the place that can fix the world. Jamaica is the place that can fix the world. And the world that they are trying to give, I just want to give an encouragement to the athletes that are going to Paris. That no matter what version we are, we are the strongest. We are the strongest. We are the strongest role models of the world. So don't let that little demon boy from America, we name Noah, we, we take a little girl from Jamaica again and use her to learn about us. That them can, Because the only way that they can go against us is to use us against us. That's the only way. So I want to say to me Jamaicans, them who truly patriotic, 
who is going over to Paris to this Olympics, make sure say you know say this is the Olympic of all Olympics because they want to put Jamaica on our feet. They want to put us on our knees. They want us to bow down so that they can say they took us down and they took us from God. But make we show them, say, we lick but we tell our wife it too. I would have loved if a youth like all you see and bold too can come out and give a word of encouragement to a real athletes them. Not the gay one them where them are come plant in our, in our team them. We push them agendas through with sports. We push them agendas through with music. We push them agendas through with politician them. PNP, Lisa Anna, you can bat for the system underneath Jamaican banner. Babsy Grange, you sold us out to the beast. You swell out with culture and turn with culture in a brand. And that to not do to Jamaica. And make the world a laugh off of Jamaica and a treat we like we mediocre. But me a beg those of us who know. And know so we not have to use no violence. And we not have to